But Frank was all about messing with people's heads. I can see him taking the kid to get a reaction, but, but to keep him, that's not in his M.O. Yeah, he's only interested in keeping this sick game of his going for as long as possible. I'm sorry, this is not about getting my attention anymore. Okay, then what's it about? Franco told me what he was planning. I just didn't realize it at the time. This, this is all about what Franco told me in the stairwell. Which was what? What he started he started talking about Jocelyn and how she changed his perspective on things. Well, sure. He knows how important Carly and her kids are to you. He probably brought up Jocelyn just to push another button. I, I don't think it means he wants to keep the yeah, kids see, for but himself. The one thing Franco could never understand was my connection to Michael and why I cared so much. And right before he went to the roof, he said he finally got it. How how being in a person's life from the beginning changes everything. So you think that's why he kidnapped the baby, because he wanted to know what it was like to have that kind of a connection with someone? But how Franco works is he drops hints and clues for you to follow. That's all this is, is another hint or clue to keep the game going. I, I guarantee you, we follow this lead and we'll find this kid there waiting. Okay, Franco said that I was the only one who could appreciate the finale he had planned. And this is it. I think the game is over. I, you're not going to find any more clues. Why would he hire someone to dive off a roof if he didn't want to keep the game going? Well, faking his own death was just a diversion. It gave him time to come back here, grab the baby, and cover his tracks. When has this guy ever tied anything up nice and tidy? Taking this kid was like waving a red flag. He wants you to go get him. No, not, not if the goal is to prove that he and Jason are the same. See, what, what Jason is saying is that in Franco's mind, having that connection with someone was the only thing standing in the way, and taking the baby solves that. So if, if what you're saying is true, he wants this baby to be like Jason, to connect to this kid, and he doesn't feel anything, what happens then? This kid gets dumped somewhere, or even worse. We gotta make sure that doesn't happen. What do we have to go on? Franco's mother. I mean, we start there. You guys are gonna be wasting your time. You know, it, it's sounding like you don't want us to catch Franco either. I mean, are you thinking the longer he stays in hiding, the longer you stay out of Pentonville? You made the deal. You're going back. Yeah, I know I made the deal. I want that baby found. Well, giving up on a potential lead is not going to help find that baby. I'm going to contact the Woodstock PD, see if they've had any luck tracking down Franco's mother. No, <laughs> what's the point? If Jason says it's a waste of time, I no, guess if it's a you waste don't think I'm helping the way I should, take me back to Pentonville and figure it out for yourself listen, then. Listen. I don't want to have to break the news to Elizabeth that her baby's not coming home, okay? So can we all just, just put this aside and focus on finding Franco's mother? Because right now, she's the only link we have to him. I'm guessing Franco found out we talked to her a few weeks ago because he probably moved her shortly after. Well, Karen Anderson didn't vanish in a thin air. Somebody knows something. Too much, maybe. Okay, just call up everything we can find right now. What are we looking for? Well, Franco had a camera crew that followed him everywhere. Okay, so we find the people around the cameras. Maybe they'll be able to tell us something. Right, if they're not all dead. See, Franco's main camera guy was a guy named Vince, and when I went in the stairwell, Vince was dead, his neck had been snapped, but his camera was still recording. LAPD already collected everything from there as evidence. And that's where the jackal cyber skills come into play. <laughs> he's, he's hacking into their system. Spencer, the goal is to apprehend the abducting artist, is it not? Uh, I just don't know if you know how many lives you're breaking. Do you really care at this point? Hey, what the hell? My badge is already on the line. That was the uh, detective in Woodstock. They canvassed the area, checked all over the place, all the places that Karen Anderson was known to frequent. Nothing. It came up empty. Okay, so should Spinelli keep looking, or do you want to arrest him for breaking the law? Listen, can you uh, handle things here for a while? Yeah, you going to the hospital? Oh, Woodstock. I want to look around the house, question Karen Anderson's neighbors, myself, and see if maybe the police up there might have overlooked something. I know it's a long shot, but Franco's mother is still the best chance we have at figuring out where he took the baby. Okay, I'll let you know if we find anything here. All right, thanks. What's going on over here? I've been scrolling through the footage recovered from the Fiend's final art show, but no reference to the maternal one's missing offspring. Okay, back it up from the beginning, and I want to go frame by frame. There's got to be something in here that can help us find that baby. Shut it off. Oh, wait, I, I 
thought the idea was a doctor. Get out. You, you said it. Get Why? out. Oh, stop it there. Okay, go back. Can you can you uh, push in on the desk? What did you see? Well, the papers Franco's working on must be important if he didn't want them caught on tape. 